Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. So today I want to focus on what are five things you can do on December 31st to set yourself up right for the new year, okay? So listen, when it comes down to business and anything that has to do with your taxes, at you know once that uh clock strikes midnight the ball makes it to the ground honey we all turn into a pumpkin and start over okay so everything that you got to do with your taxes it's got to be done by December 31st, with the exception of retirement account stuff. There, there's a little bit more leeway with that. But you know what? But for the most part, December 31st, 1159, that is the deadline to get her done. Starting at January 1 on at midnight, that's got to wait until the next tax season, all right? So first thing that you want to do today or after you go get your life or however you do that, is document your mileage. Mileage is one of the biggest things that home business owners just don't get right, okay, when it comes down to documenting mileage. So for you to properly um, to, to properly report your business miles, you need to have your total miles. That means you need to have your beginning mileage and your ending mileage. And you also need to know the amount of business miles that you have driven. But overall, you still got to know your total mileage. So this is why you document your mileage today, um, you know, after you get in for the day and then you're already set for the next year and you're not having to try to figure it out, okay? So even if you, you're trying to figure out your mileage for this year, go ahead and document your mileage because then you're gonna start your 2019 off right, okay? Number two is to donate whatever you're gonna donate, okay? Whether you're going to donate to your church, you, you know, a lot of churches, you know, have apps and everything that you can use to donate. If you're going to do that, if you're going to donate to charities and all of, you know, all of that, it's got to be done by, uh, by midnight tonight. Okay. So, but you also want to make sure that you have the proper receipts and everything with the amounts that you have donated. Now with this year, with the new tax law, there will be a lot of people who, um, you know, donating may or may not help you when it comes down to itemizing your taxes. It just depends on where you are with everything else, but you still got to get it done by December, uh, December 31st by midnight. Make sure you have those receipts. Also, I want to um, talk about too with businesses. Like a lot of times businesses believe that, um, you know, if you donate something from your business, then that is a business expense. And that is not correct. Only a C corporation can actually donate, right? The other, you know, for everybody else, all the other business structures, your, your donations actually end up on your personal return anyway. So it is not a business expense when you uh, donate to charity. And also donating your time to charity, you know, if you're a business like here, you know, I'm a tax professional. And so if I go to uh, some charity and I do their taxes for free, I don't get to write that off as a deduction. Okay. That is absolutely false. I can donate any tools I use, right? Any, you know, if I happen to I don't know, buy a notebook specifically for that. I could write that off. But donating time is not a, that's not a tax deductible expense. So I know I have a lot of business owners that have come to me and said, hey, I donated my time to this organization. How much can I write off? And the answer is zero, okay? If you purchase specific tools that you leave with that organization, then yep, you can write that off as a, as a business deduction, but donating your time is not a tax deductible expense. Okay. You can write off your mileage. If you're going to a particular, uh, you know, going to that particular site, you can write that off, um, as, um, uh, you know, as a deduction, but not for, uh, not donating your time. Okay. So I want y'all to get that right, especially going into the new year, because I hear a lot of people still getting taken by that. No, donating your time is not tax deductible at the amount that you would normally charge somebody. Absolutely not. All right. Number three, get your spending done. Get your investments in your business done by midnight 
tonight, okay? So if you need to buy new software, if you need to buy a new a new computer or whatever, if you plan to deduct it for, uh, for this year, it needs to be done by midnight tonight. Now, you have to pay for it. It is not good enough to have an invoice. You have to pay for it outright by December 31st, and 11.59, okay? Get that done. So what are some of the things you can buy? You can do, like I said, software. If you've got to buy new equipment, if you need some continuing education, whatever, you need to get that, you know, any business tools or anything, you need to get that done by 11.59 tonight, or it's gotta wait until next year. The next thing, number four, is close out the books, okay? <laughs> that means that you have to have had your bookkeeping together. Now, if you haven't had any bookkeeping, this is a great time for you to get set up in order to do, you know, to track your books and everything for next year. Um, if you're a pen and paper type person and you're like, hey, I need to see this in print, I'm happy to help you out with that. We got my home biz management toolbox that's available get yourself this stuff so that you can start tracking your income, your expenses, and start planning your finances and managing your money better. Like if you're going to make a new year's resolution, make that resolution. Okay. To, uh, so that you can really run a more profitable business. I have a goal of tw in 2019 and that means I'm going to need your help. Okay. But I have a goal of helping a thousand businesses become profitable. How am I going to do that? Well, first of all, we're going to start with education. We're going to talk about how you're going to manage your money better. It's, it doesn't matter if you make you know, six figures. If you're spending five figures to make six figures, then it's not necessarily going to be working out profitably, right? So you can have someone that makes $100,000 in a year, but if you spend 99000 doing it, then you're really not, you're, you're only making a thousand dollars, right? So the making a hundred thousand dollars sound cute, but if you spend it all of your money trying to run your business, that's not cute, right? You're still not, you're still not really making any money, right? You're in the, you're definitely in the black, but not by that much. So I want to definitely focus on really teaching home business owners how to manage your money a whole lot better than what we've been doing being prepared to pay your taxes because, hey, if you go out and boss out, you're going to have to pay taxes. My job is to help you keep as much as your, of your money as absolutely possible. But at the end of the day, business owners who are profitable pay taxes. Okay. So, th but bookkeeping is, is a big, big part of that. Okay. Tracking how you're spending your money, where your money is going, where your money is coming from, how fast you get your money. You know, and all of that, your cash flow, all of that is so important for you to know in your business. Okay. So, but number four, it's time to close it out. So get whatever payments you're going to get in, get all that in by midnight tonight, whatever you're going to expenses you have, get that in by 1159, close those books out so that you can start January 1st fresh. Okay. And then for number five, we want to celebrate and investigate. And what do I mean? Listen, you know, at the end of the year, it really is that time of reflection, right? We're like, we'll go back and we'll see what went right, what went wrong. Okay. So this is why we celebrate and investigate. You go back and you celebrate your wins. I don't care how small the win is. Celebrate all of your wins. Okay. This is what we want to do um, because, you know, because celebrating your wins that puts you in, it, it puts you in a spirit of gratitude, like, hey, I've accomplished this or whatever. But if there's something that went wrong, let's go back and look at why it went wrong. Okay, that we got to start learning the lessons instead of being this oh humdrum, I didn't make as much money as I wanted to make, or I wound up losing money, whatever. Let's start to investigate and look at why. See, when you can look at why things happen, then you have the opportunity to change it and to do something different. This is what being a business owner is all about. Like one of the things that, you know, the IRS looks at when they're determining whether you're a business or a hobby is did you do something different? Did you try different methods? And so if you never go back and look at what went wrong and why it went wrong, you can't do anything different, okay? So celebrate and investigate. Investigate the things that you were not happy with. Celebrate the things that went right. Um, 
one of the, the things that um, I heard a minister say yesterday that I thought was really uh, poignant, he said that we have the tendency to remember the things that we should forget and forget the things that we should remember. You should remember your wins and you should investigate the loss and then go, you know, find out why there was a loss and then move forward. Forget that and move on. All right. Um, you know, the, the, the December 31st is really a nostalgic time of year. You're, you'll, you know, you'll see, you know, celebrations all around the world and all of that and everybody hugging, kissing at midnight and all of that. But, you know, there will be people who will be lonely. There will be people that will be heartbroken. There'll be all kinds of things going on and it's, that's, that's just so, that's such, it has such an impact on us, you know, physically and emotionally and all of that. What we have to do is, you know, as business owners, number one is to be, be willing to learn the lessons. And we have to do that as people is be willing to learn the lessons. Like instead of dwelling on just, you know, what went wrong, you know, what's, what's the why, what's the lesson I need to learn here? Because life has a way of giving you the same test over and over again until you pass. Same thing goes with business. You will get the same lesson over and over again until you pass. And so if you don't take the time to be consciously present and really take the, the emotion out, the woe is me, take that out of the equation and just say, okay, what went wrong? It's not personal. We tend to take our losses personally. It's not personal. What went wrong and why? OK, have honest conversations about that. And then if you don't know, if you're like, hey, I can't figure it out, this is when you need to go and hire help so you don't continue to make the same mistakes over and over again. OK, we're all about getting better and better every single day. A 1% better is, is better than nothing at all. OK, so um, so that's it, guys. This is it for the for the year of 2018. Oh my gosh, right? I still remember January 1st. I'm like, oh my gosh. It, you know, 2018 was a blur. But um, I definitely want to thank all of my viewers that were here with me, all of my new viewers that came on in 2018, and my viewers that have been with me from the beginning. I certainly do appreciate you, and I hope to uh, continue to be able to bring you uh, useful content that you can use to help your business be better, okay? So that's it for me, you guys. I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve, whether you go out and celebrate, whether you go to church, spend time with your loved ones, however you do it. I hope you have a fantastic day and we will see you in the new year. All right. Have a great day. And remember, Home Biz Tax Talk, we air Monday through Friday, nine o'clock ish. And you can come here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.